Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and this beast of a plier is the 400 millimeter Knipex Alligator, and this guy here is the biggest alligator that they make. It's actually the second biggest plier. There is a, a 560 in the Cobra, but why do you want an alligator? That's kind of the question today, because this mechanism predates the Cobra and is actually kind of primitive compared to the Cobra mechanism. The Cobra actually has a more refined, more uh, intricate mechanism, but it requires at least four more parts. It requires the push button here, the teeth lock, it requires this spring and a way to attach the spring. And, you know, we're all kind of used to this, but why would you have a design still in production that is the alligator, or in this case, the crocodile? Now, if we take a look at the front end of these, they're essentially the same. What you've got is fairly large jaws. You've got some refinement up at the front for grabbing things uh, right at the tip. You've got the traditional kind of trapezoid of, uh, that Knipex is famous for, for grabbing hex fasteners and round pipe, as you can see by the angles of the teeth. And then back in this end, it has some teeth for grabbing things right up, really tight, right up at the, uh, at the pivot here, uh, such as um, pulling chain, cable, fish tape, whatever, or just crushing things, or just using it for whatever fits in there, because this does open up hugely big. But anyway, why do we want that? Well, there have been tongue and groove pliers, kind of like the channel lock here, for quite a while. Um, this is, um, it's, it's sort of like a proven design. It's not the best design. I find these sometimes are a little hard to adjust. They, um, and you can lock them up. If this ramp mechanism gets caught in between the grooves, uh, you can actually spread the jaws. That's always been kind of a problem, but they've been so reliable. So is the question maybe reliability? Now I did a video about a year ago on the difference between the, the Knipex. Well, I'm outside right now, so we're gonna have chickens and dogs and airplanes and trucks and who knows what else. But anyway, um, the Knipex Alligator here versus the Knipex Cobra, and the only thing I really could find besides maybe price, um, is that in certain environments, this environ or this um, mechanism might be, good grief, that's a, oh wow, that's a pretty old plane. Anyway, this is a, a more durable, maybe or maybe more reliable mechanism. So let's go ahead and test that. What I'm gonna do here, and I'll throw in a couple of others, how about I've got some Knipex traditional Cobras here, the old 250, which are just dwarfed. And then I'll go ahead and throw in a 180 sized alligator here. You know, you can see sometimes this mechanism, this is an earlier one. There's actually another one that's got even more adjustments as my oldest alligator, I think. But anyway, let's go ahead and test this. So what I'm gonna do is start out first. There we go. So here they are. All right, let's uh, go ahead and find some pliers in here. Here's some channel locks. Try those. As you know, they clean up pretty well. Seem to work okay. Uh, what do we got here? Got a worm in here. Don't wanna hurt you. Um, here are the the um, Cobras seem to be working okay. Knock the dirt off. I haven't done, there's not a lot of sand in here, but if pretend if there was, pack it in there. Pack some in there maybe. Yeah, I'm not noticing anything. And let's grab those alligators very much like the channel lock. So maybe that's not the best test. So let's uh, add some water. It's pretty common if you're doing any plumbing and there's a leak and your tools are gonna get all gooey. All right, let's see what happens now. 
Oh no, where'd my pliers go? Where are my pliers? People ask me why I have a beefy watch. Well, it's because I don't take it off. So, what do we got here? Here are the alligators. A little stuffy, but that's kind of normal. So if I was trying to get it in there, yeah, no problem there. About these guys. I can force those. Whoops, another worm. So tell it's real soil. Uh, here are the cobras. Pack that in there. Can I get this to work? It's holding up pretty well. Look at that. Uh, it's a big mechanism. We'll see what happens with the little bit smaller ones. So, yeah, there you go. Seems to be working fine. What do we got? Here's the big alligators. Oh, that's actually quite smooth. There's plenty of clearance in there. Um, this is actually smoother than the cobra. Pretty nice. There's a cobra again. Still works well. And I'm getting full. I mean, that's a tight spring, this right there. That's actually able to push through all that muck. And what if I get it fucked up while it's... Oh, look at that. Nope, oh, it managed to pop free. There we go. And what else do we got in here? Uh, here's the little cobras, the baby cobras. Uh-oh. No, that's... Ah, it's workable. It's definitely struggling a little bit. But that might be the tolerance here because this has a lot, a lot bigger tolerance or a lot more space. And somewhere in here is the baby alligator. Where it hurt it. There. Huh. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe it got eaten by the crocodile. Oh, there it is. So let's see how that one's working. This is way better than the Cobra. This is actually, that's had that problem probably since I got it. It is not uh, a problem with the, uh, with the dirt here. But anyway, that one definitely works, except for that top one, which is why I have a better alligator. A eh, little crunchy there. Interesting. Anyway, so this one, again, is kind of suffering a similar fate. But if we go to the, the, wherever the big alligator, the crocodiles are, no problem whatsoever at any point. Look at that. That's the standard kind of alligator, you know, finding that, that point in between, I think. Wow, yeah. Once you get them going, although that, let's clean that off a little and see if that helps. Yep, that was, it was gumming up a little bit. That's interesting. The Cobra seems to be doing a better job even when it's all mucked up. Look at that. Oh, that's starting to struggle. I guess you got to push the dirt out of the way. That's beating it. Interesting. Yep, that's struggling now. I can feel the resistance. I mean, it's still there. Try working under underwater there. Yeah. You know what? I got to give the wind to the cobra. In minor conditions, the alligator seems to be better, but this cobra is working just fine. So sorry, I guess the cobra beat the alligator in this case or beat the crocodile. Anyway, no, 
<laughs> let me know what you think if you've got experience. But I guess I would have no hesitation bringing that Cobra into a uh, messy environment. And with that, dock out. <laughs>